What's a simple concept from your field of study that the average person doesn't seem to understand? 911 Dispatch, when you call me and I ask you questions, I don't need a life story for each one. A simple yes or no will suffice. If it doesn't, I will ask you to clarify. Orthodontist here. Making braces tighter does not make the teeth move faster. Have patients daily asking me to make the brace even tighter because they can take it and finish faster as a result. Teeth move quickest and most efficiently with very low, sustained force application. It's like trying to get yourself out of quicksand, yanking with all your might leaves you in exactly the same place but slow, continuous gently force gets you to where you want to go. Usually after explaining this, they shrug as if I'm trying to pull one over on them and proceed to ask me to make it tighter next time. Many people use drugs due to trauma. The culture surrounding drugs perpetuates the trauma. Even if someone did not start out using drugs due to trauma, they most often will acquire it due to the nature of drug use, the circumstances surrounding it, and how people who use drugs are often targets of violence, especially youth and women. This is not to excuse behavior or actions, this is just a gentle reminder that your sister, brother, cousin, whatever, who says they were hurt by a relative, and they are dismissed and called a liar, only because they are a drug user? It's most likely they are a drug user specifically because they were hurt. It is a natural human reaction to want to avoid pain or minimize it, even emotional pain. Yes watching fentanyl zombies sucks ass, yes having meth addicts screaming at demons is weird AF but it is never as easy as someone just stopping using. To successfully do that they need not only to want it, but to deal with lived trauma, and to have support systems in place to be successful. And even what I am saying here is a gross oversimplification. People are not made to live forever and modern medicine, while amazing, cannot make miracles happen. So many times we have a patient who is on a ventilator and unable to be taken off. Plus their kidneys are shot and they are requiring continuous bedside dialysis. Plus their heart is failing and they are on 2-4 continuous infusions of medication to make it function properly and prevent circulatory collapse. That is multi-system organ failure. Even if we can get one system back, the chances of a meaningful recovery are very slim. If it turn off any of my machines or a bag of one of their meds runs dry they're gonna die, because they are on a huge amount of life support, but the family still will be thinking they're gonna walk and talk out of the hospital. And, even if they do live, a lot of them are going to get a truck and feeding tube and then go on to live the rest of their lives in a facility where they still need 24-hour care, where they may or may not still be ventilator dependent where they likely cannot speak and definitely cannot eat or drink anything by mouth. Some will never, for the rest of their lives be able to safely eat or drink by mouth again. Many will be incontinent and bed bound and likely never regain their strength back. If you ever have a family member in the ICU on life support, think long and hard about it because a lot of what we do to sustain life is literal torture. In order to produce the color desired, one must first understand the relationships of colors and their contrasting components. There's nothing wrong with using prepared mixtures sold at stores, so long as you understand the limitations of each product and how to balance them. That's why you see brunettes with a green tint, and unnatural oranges. You cannot paint without a primer any more than you can slap a chemical on your hair and expect magic. Humans didn't evolve from chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are our nearest living relative species. Humans and chimpanzees both evolved from the same ancient species, which no longer exists in that form but does still exist in the form of humans and chimpanzees. The fact that chimpanzees still exist does not disprove that humans evolved from other apes. There's two main reasons that when you cook a restaurant favorite at home, it doesn't taste as good. One. The person who made the dish used all of the things your doctor told you to avoid. It's full of butter and salt and all that good stuff. When you substitute healthy options it doesn't taste as good. Or at least it doesn't taste the same. 
2. The people who made your dish have done it hundreds of times. Or thousands of times. You can get very good at a dish cooking it at home for yourself, but mastering a dish takes a kind of repetition that is rarely seen outside of a professional kitchen. The concept of putting things in their historical context. To be fair, many historians seem to have hard time doing this as well. Homeowners insurance covers the following type of damage. A sudden and one-time occurrence. 98% of all claims will come down to this simple concept. If your loss meets this description it's most likely covered. If your loss does not meet this description, it's most likely not covered. There are some specific exceptions, but that's general guideline. From my undergrad field of study, I wish more people understood necessary versus sufficient conditions. Subnet masking. Some people learn faster than others. Vaccines don't cause autism. Vaccines don't put a protective bubble around you guaranteeing you will never fall ill again. Vaccines don't contain microchips and nanobots. Vaccines do lessen the severity of infectious disease and shorten the length of illness. Vaccines prime your immune system to fight the disease using its natural functions. Vaccines require over 95% coverage in the population to protect vulnerable people who can't be vaccinated. Vaccines save lives. Get your flu shot. The fact that something is a social construct doesn't mean it doesn't exist, doesn't matter, or doesn't have an impact, nor does it mean that it can be changed willy-nilly. Character development of a protagonist throughout the course of a narrative. Information technology IT involves a lot of googling. A very relevant skill requirement is simply that we know how to google asterisk efficiently asterisk and aren't afraid to poke at things to see what they do. Seriously, if you don't know, learn some basic browser search skills, like putting the word in quotes to make it required, using dashes to exclude certain words, using after colon date to filter by date, and so on. Psychologists, therapists, counselors are not there to give you advice or opinions. They may sometimes do that, but they should do so very infrequently, not including psychoeducation, where evidence-based techniques or facts are shared to hopefully aid a client in feeling better in some relevant area. That's what your friends are for. Asterisk therapists are there to help you talk to yourself asterisk in a way that helps you discover, organize and understand your life and yourself better, so you can come to your own conclusions and your own decisions. Therapists are trained to be your mirror, to help you externalize what you have inside, emotions, experiences, beliefs, etc. That's part of why you hear sometimes that, therapists hold space, it's as though they hold up the walls of a space for you to throw all your stuff up onto, have a real good look at, and hopefully get a new perspective on it, or at least, feel better afterwards due to the cathartic effect. Most people will never sit and truly talk to themselves, even in journaling, in a way that isn't just spiraling reinforcing false beliefs and unhelpful blind spots. A therapist forces you to spend time with yourself and is trained to help you stay in that space and make real sense of what you choose to talk about in session. Also, related, therapy is not for sick people, crazy people, disturbed people. It's for people. I work in communications and that every piece of work I produce has to be at a readable level for a nine-year-old. It's so time-consuming taking over complicated information and trying to simplify it. So if you work with a comms team, keep it straightforward and easy. Flowery language and big words will get cut. My patients are 95%, why would you call an ambulance for this, and 5%, why the fuck didn't you call an ambulance for this sooner? Correlation is not causation. Just because two things change together doesn't mean one causes the other. For example ice cream sales and drowning deaths are correlated. It could mean possibly one eating ice cream caused people to drown too. When people drown the survivors eat ice cream to make themselves feel better. 3. Both happened more often in the summertime. 4. Plus, other possibilities. 
This is used all the time when trying to push anti-science agendas.